Now this week we're hearing from labor groups and environmental groups who are lobbying FEMA to classify extreme heat and wildfire smoke as a major disaster in the same ways that a hurricane or a tornado can be classified as a major disaster. So Paul, I'm wondering from your experience as a meteorologist, how does extreme heat compare in the effect on human populations to things like blizzards and hurricanes and wildfires? You know, when you think about tropical, we think the Gulf Coast, we think the East Coast, vulnerable, closer to attacks. Uh, we don't think about it so much on the West Coast, right? And we don't think about it in Canada. We don't think about the middle of the country, but they have other issues. Uh, the West, of course, wildfire, air quality can be very, very poor and very hazardous uh, for many out there. That's their extreme. I think it really depends on the area of the country, the area of the world that you live in, where these extremes, putting a standard for everyone, saying that, you know, wildfire in the southeast uh, is worse than being hit by hurricanes, tropical storms, is probably not the case. Um, yes, we can get wildfires in the southeast, but is it to the extreme as a hurricane or tornadoes, like in the Plain States? I, I think that it is an extreme and it should be brought out because there are parts of the world and parts of our country that are affected much harder on certain extremes than the other. And I think they should be all looped together, but I think it should be on a regional basis. I think they should divide it out on how they want to approach this as far as hazardous warnings. To what degree do we put out a warning for these areas? And I think that all has to be looked at. Speaking of regional differences, in Mexico and South Texas, there is an incredible amount of rain. I think a tropical storm warning. What are you forecasting for that region? And is it tied into what we're seeing in the Northeast with this heat? Uh, you know, what we're seeing right now is we have it named as a tropical rainstorm. It hasn't been officially named a tropical storm or depression at this point. But the thing about this system is it's been having a difficult time getting all of its showers and thunderstorms to organize around the center, which allows the pressure in the system to lower and intensify the storm. And as long as that continues to happen in the short window it has in the Bay of Campeche before it can go into Mexico, um, it's going to make it difficult to be organized. But besides whether it does develop into a tropical system, it's like you said, it's producing a deluge of rain into an area that's been very, very dry. Now, they'll welcome that, but at the same time, you can get massive mudslides that form, especially in parts of eastern uh, Mexico, uh, out of these situations that can cause really severe damage to roads, buildings, and houses, and also the lives of people there. So this is a serious situation in that respect, even if it gets named or not. And then Texas, we know from past storms, some of the weaker storms have produced 5, 10, 15, as much as 20 inches of rain in a short period of time that can lead to flash flooding. So anywhere from Corpus Christi on south into Mexico is at risk for some major flooding and then farther inland for mudslides out of the system. Now, is it having an effect on the heat? I've brought this up to a couple of my interviews that I've done prior to this, that where the air is going up, it's in the tropics right now because of all the showers and thunderstorms. Air is rising quickly, and we saw this weeks and weeks out that it was going to be very active. The air has to come down somewhere, and so that air is sinking over the Ohio Valley, over the Mid-Atlantic, and help, it helps to also enhance the intensity of this high that's in place. The forecast models from a while ago, really a lot of them didn't have it. They didn't know how strong to make it. But well, knowing those ideas and knowing the physics wrapped around this as a meteorologist, we felt that this high would be strengthened based on what was happening down in the Gulf, what was happening in the Caribbean. It's had an, a, a some effect, maybe not totally the entire effect, but it has had some effect.